Let me actually continue here, say have faith in others and what we'll then do. I'll still join Bunny and Dog. And then we'll go with the top option of the Jade Emperor. I don't remember what it said. The rules contradict what the Jade Emperor previously said. Huh? I don't get it. I mean, Brian previously said that if we work together, we could all get out alive. But there, these rules totally blow that promise out of the water. Isn't that weird? For real? Look, that site clearly wasn't planning on us being able to group up like this, so he introduced some shit to break us apart. Anyways, what does it matter that he changed his mind? It's not like he's bound to do what he said. But, I guess. So then, what's the plan, Chief? Okay, we'll go through and we die again. Although, I'd, actually, I don't know why we died this time. I can't remember. Anyway. So, this is a dead end. Uh, what if... Let me go back here. Let's have faith in others, okay? But let's not search with bunny and dog. Let's search with pig and monkey. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this one. Oh, God, yeah. How many kangaroo words are there? Let's save this onto this one. Goddamn kangaroo words. I think I tried three, two, and four. Five, five. Is it this? Guys, I think I know what the fourth digit should be. The second digit is also supposed to be six. The third digit is only three. I approached the safe and put in what I thought the code should be. Dang it, we were wrong. Okay. Yes, load. Not this though. Uh, load this, please. Six. Had it. Okay, apparently it's six. Again, if anyone wants to go through it, this is the text. Please find me the six kangaroo words. Astound. Oh, it actually tells me. Okay. Astound and stun. Oh, that's what astound means. Okay, I see. Blossom. Bloom. Okay, I just... I just didn't see that. Honorable. Uh, what did we have? I think we figured that out. Um, noble. Yes, okay. That was one I actually managed to do. Damsel. Um, dam? Dame. Dame, okay. Devilish and evil, yeah. Plagiarist. Liar. Ah, I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. Those are not synonyms at all. They're similar. One implies the other, but they're not synonyms in the slightest. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna call everyone who's a liar plagiarist from now on. Those are just not synonyms. Guys, the fourth digit should be six. The second digit is also supposed to be six. The third digit is only three. So the code should be 7636. There's only one, there's one way to find out. Pig was right. I moved over to the safe and input the code. 7636. I was greeted by an affirmative beeping indicating our success. Yes. Well done. What? Is it open now? The beeping clearly sound, uh, certainly sounded positive. Did it? Pig, are you perhaps hard of hearing? Me? Oh no no no, my hearing works completely fine. Oh see, she's so hard of hearing. I just, oh well, you know, it's kind of a long story. Basically I have this thing called amusia. Amusia? It means I can hear fine, but I'm not really able to distinguish the pitch of most sounds. Oh no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it kind of means I'm not able to really enjoy music or anything, but that's fine. It also sometimes makes it difficult to people pick up on people's tones. That's why I generally have to rely on people's facial expressions to tell how they're thinking. Which um, I'm not the best at either. But you know, baby steps. Anyways, enough about me. Let's get a look inside the safe. Without another word, Pig leaned over and grabbed the safe's handle. She opened it and sure enough there was an item that looked like a token. That is... A minor trinket. I bet these digits on the back are what we need to input to activate it. 
The inscription Sheep Minor Trinket was written on the token, but there were indeed also numbers on the back. It read 4376. Oddly enough, the 6 was written in red. Odd detail, but probably irrelevant. Oh, God damn it. It was a 6 the last time around as well, wasn't it? Don't remember. Ah, uh, there's so much overlap. Yes. We're one step closer to getting out of here together. Spectacular work, everybody. Since we have found the trinket, how about we head back to the cafeteria, input our actions for this round, and wait for the others? Makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm down. The round will be ending soon anyways. One thought, maybe all of them say six in red, but what's, what it implies isn't another code, as I first would have thought, but maybe from those computers... The six is the killer? One of the numbers is going to be six and that'll be the killer. Something like that. Some, I don't know. Alright. Okay. Which personalities? So that's actually interesting. That, that changes a bit. I don't know which... Well, we, I guess we did take quite a different path to the last time we went with Big and Monkey. It's not just that. That we unlocked it this time. Oh, uh, which is it? Desperate. Who is desperate? Mm. Who would be desperate? Maybe dragon? But didn't we already have dragon? That w or was it the desperate personality? The dragon heart? Oh, I need to remember these things actually. Okay, what's good on? Uh, content. That could be... Could be content. Bunny? No, Bunny's gonna have some sort of deceiving personality. Maybe dog. But I still think something else would fit dog better. Uh, horse? Horse? I think horse fits very well with content. Alright. Uh huh. Okay. Go on. Hmm. Oh, monkey has it. Okay, that that is a that is fitting as well. Yeah, monkey just admitted to having the content personality. What? Seriously? No way. This is certainly a surprise. You're admitting it? Naturally, I'm admitting it. To not do so would bring the group undue stress. No, monkey. But with this, you. I struggled to get the words out of my throat. On the one hand, this revelation was a blessing. Monkey was giving herself up to the group. However, that mean that meant that she that she would certainly die. I'd known Monkey for a while, but of everyone here, she was the person I least wanted to see die. Uh, most that implies you'd rather see other people die. I don't think you're aware of what that means. So for her to meet an end like this, what was Brian thinking? My distress must have shown plainly on my face. Daddy East Mouse, you must move past this. I need to move past this? What about you? Death will come to us all, eventually. I can't. I can't claim that I'm not distraught at this outcome. However, it unfortunately appears that I do not have a choice. For the sake of others, even if my body wishes to reject this fate, I will give myself up. Just as I have done all my life. Luckily, I don't need to work up the courage to actually kill myself. I simply must prevent myself from acting untowardly. But will you be able to, though? Rooster? Sure, she's admitting herself now, but it's probably just a ploy, right? Good old Rooster. She's clearing herself from suspicion by confessing, so when things go wrong later, we won't blame her. That's not it at all. How could you say that about Monkey? 
Monkey, you may have a box right now, but can the same be said about later, when we are, when you're really facing death head on? Seriously, guys? That would be a lot harder than it sounds, I think. It sounds impossible, actually. So, what do you suggest? You all should kill me now? That since I'm going to die anyways, there's no reason to not stab me at this very moment? That would be barbaric. Yeah. We'll just restrain you so you can't do anything suspicious. You... We will? Of course, would you be at all? Okay, we've seen that. Of course, looked at Rooster for a moment as if considering the proposal. We've seen that, but with us and not with Monkey. Then he made his way towards Monkey. Immediately, I intervened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I'm going to restrain her. Why are we doing that? Did we not just discuss this matter? No, Rooster just said some dumb shit for usual and everyone seemingly went along with it. This is an outrage. Monkey doesn't deserve this at all. Now, now, Mouse. There's no reason to be upset. If they would feel safer where I restrained, I see no reason to refuse that. Great, thanks for your approval, babe. And I rescind my approval? Nope. Anyways, I thought I saw some jump rope up in the gymnasium. Why don't we tie her up in a chair with some of that? That will work well enough. And just like that, the plan to restrain Monkey was put in motion. Before we knew it, Monkey was firmly tied to a chair in the middle of the cafeteria. That is not the cafeteria, though. Ah, oh, well, maybe it's the exit of the cafeteria, actually. Rooster seemed to take particular delight in the restraining process, a mildly concerning fact. Now, this should certainly satisfy everybody's fears. Now then, I would ask the desperate personality to also confess at this point. I understand how scared you are, but know that we're all here for you. Things will go much better if you speak up now. <laughs> yeah. The prospect of being tied to a chair. I don't know how you could refuse that. Also, purely based on the fact that they're the desperate personality. What do you think are the chances that I'll confess, Mouse? Monkey's voice was inspiring. Wait, was that Monkey? Oh, God damn it, that was Monkey, actually. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Um... They've got the same color. Almost, and they both start with M-O. Ugh. The rest of the room stayed silent. Come now, surely you can speak up now. David. While I admire your bravery and willingness to sacrifice, most aren't willing to give up on everything in their life just to help some strangers. Unfortunately, this is kind of the expected result. I see. If it was a matter of actively betraying the group, most would shudder from action. However, when action leads to one's death, betrayal by inaction is much more palatable. So then, what are we going to do? We don't need to change our strategy at all. We now just need to gather 11 mana trinkets instead of 12. Then we can all cross the finish line at the same time. But won't the person with the determined personality try and reach the finish line before that? What if it's a pig? M me? It, 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 not me. What's an example? Don't give yourself away like that, pig. You could use your ability and rush ahead 11 spaces. That puts you way in the front. That would be much akin to getting check in chess by crashing your queen through the line of pawns. A move that temporarily gets you in the lead, but it will immediately end your chances of success. If Pig makes her intent to betray the group clear from the start, the whole group will team up and make sure she doesn't beat us. Therefore, it would be in her best interest to hide for the time being. Look for some other opportunity to win in one strike. Stop talking about me like, like I'm going to betray the group. You're not denying that you've got that personality there. The bottom line is that if we all stick to the plan and nothing major goes or awry, then the traitor won't have an opportunity to cross the finish line alone. Therefore, we should focus on searching for the minor trinkets. Let us split up and search for them now. Hold on a moment. That was an odd suggestion. What did he say? Uh, mm, hmm. Why, monkey? What do you mean? The person with the desperate personality is still at large. Putting up seems like a rather dangerous idea given the circumstances. Fair point. I don't know what you're talking about. A single person can't do much on their own. What's dangerous is not finding enough mana trinkets in time. 
we have ample time and have been making fine progress. Splitting up only increases the risk posed. Bad things could happen if everybody is split up. I doubt it. We're in a school and everyone's on guard. Hey, naive, Paige. I have to admit, you're right there, monkey. Excuse me? I must say, Ox, it feels weird for me to be this aggressive, but your suggestion strikes me as rather suspicious. It's the type of thing that someone plotting something would say. Yeah, he also does appear to me to be pretty likely to have the desperate personality. Well, rather, it's not that he's likely. There's just a lot of personalities we already know, and there's not really much that otherwise fit that personality. Is that so? It appears that even tied up you intend to sow discord. For everyone's information, I am the last person who would do anything untoward in this building. If you're accusing me of being the other traitor monkey, I'll have you know you're gravely mistaken. I never said you were a traitor. I just said the proposal sounded like you were scheming something. He can't deny that. Things could take an ugly turn quick if somebody didn't step in quick. It felt a bit bad in this argument, I had, but in this argument I had to support making a safe state. Uh, Monkey. Ox, I hate to say it, but Monkey has a point. Seriously, even you don't trust me, Mouse? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying splitting up might not be the best idea. Just, you know, considering the circumstances and all. Why not explore in pairs? It slows us down quite a bit. Oh, come off it, Ox. We died and left you in charge. A lot of us were moving groups already and we were doing just fine. Always change course if it looks like we're running out of time. Alright, don't know if this is what we're deciding on. In that case, let's move in pairs while one person can go solo. Let me guess, Ox, who's gonna who's gonna volunteer to go solo? Um you? Uh if we're doing partners, could I move with horse? I don't have any reason to refuse. Actually I'd prefer horse if you moved with Tiger. What? Why? To keep you in check. There's no point to this if we aren't trying to thoroughly limit everyone's actions, no? And what does pairing me with Tiger change? Hey, you wanna go? Oh, just let horse go with sheep. Ox, it should be fine. I'll go with Tiger instead. Fine. In that case, mouse, pig, you two can look together. Because we're both weak as shit. Alright, sounds good to me. Totally for me too. I like to keep an eye on Rooster so you're with me. Using your leadership position to partner with me? Smart moves, my friend. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> Absolutely. Is the solar spot still open? Because I'd like to go with that, please. Well, dog also fits very well, yeah. Fine. Hey, hold on, that leaves me stuck with Snake. Fuck that. Indeed, I have some objections with this arrangement. Too bad. Excuse me? I've already had enough of a headache without having to worry about your petty squabbling. Suck it up and work together. Neither of them seemed particularly infused with that response, but neither of them had the energy to fight Ox when he was so clearly fed up with the group. That should take care of things. Just like that, Ox had devised our new marching orders. Everybody split up and got to searching. Pig and I decided to look around the second floor classrooms for a while. We spent a lot of time looking at some math classrooms, but we weren't able to find anything of use. Time flew pretty quickly. Before we knew it, we were facing the end of round four. Alright, well, we might as well input our actions. Right. I don't want to die after all. Yep. Man, dying from forgetting to put in your move must suck. Like, not only would it be super painful, but it would also have to be super embarrassing. You'd be dying and all the while you'd just be embarrassed that this was the way you were going out. That seems like foreshadowing. Agreed. But then again, who'd really not just input a move at least once around? I don't know, maybe if you couldn't. Oh my god, monkey's tied up. Crap, you're right. We should fix that, right? Yeah, we definitely should. Okay, you stay here, I'll go run down there real quick and untie her so that she can input a move, then retie her. You don't want me to come with you? It's no big deal, I can do it by myself. 
That sounds very suspicious, pig. Just saying. Either that or very short-sighted. Uh, no, 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 no. We'll save you. We'll put that in you. We have so many save slots. This is brilliant. Now, let me actually write them all down. Um, let's go with... Uh, I actually don't need to. I can see what they are. Uh, I generally... I'd much rather do it myself, but because I think doing it myself is the by far better option, I'll let her do it because I want to see that first. I think it'll lead to the shorter game over, maybe. Letting her go off like this technically broke the pair rule we had established. However, for something this mundane, it shouldn't really be a problem. Do it yourself. And just like that, Pig ran down to the cafeteria. And two people were dead. While she was gone, I took out my tablet and pressed the run button. And then I waited. After some time, Pig returned. Oh. Hey, how'd it go? It uh, went good. Good, I think. Could you sound more suspicious? You think? Yeah, it was good. I mean, I went and did the thing that I intended to do, and I did it, so yeah, it went well. Okay, then. Good to hear we didn't accidentally get monkey executed. Time to keep searching then, yeah? Good. And like that, we headed out to check some of the classrooms. We searched for a while, but didn't find much use. Eventually, just searching in silence began to feel awkward. I tried for some small talk. So, lots of books around here? Uh, it's an English classroom, so that tracks. Right, right. Are you a big reader, Pig? I used to be. I've kind of fallen off of that for the last couple of years. I can feel that. I think part of growing up is no longer having time to read books. That's a sad way of thinking. Yeah, it is. You know, even with my busy schedule, I bet I could put enough time in my life to read books, at least once a month. You know, I probably could too. And it would be good to read more often. It would, wouldn't it? I enjoy reading a book whenever I get around to it. Same. And I know that reading is a much better hobby than just watching TV or whatever. I read a study like that. It would be totally possible for me to make time to read more often. It would be good for me and I'd enjoy it. Absolutely. And neither of them will do it. It's a shame that there's absolutely no chance I'll go through with that idea, huh? Not a chance in hell. Not even when I have this exact same thought process in a few months. No, I'll forget about it in the exact same way. But I will be able to consistently make time to binge trash shows on the weekend. Who is that I won't even really like all that much? Right. Right. But I'd imagine you still read some amount, being a journalist. Oh, well, that's a different type of reading. A lot sadder type of reading. I'd imagine. It seems depressing to be a journalist. Well, there's a lot more bad news than good. You get used to it, though. Well, that's, uh, good. Not really. You just go through so many horrible, horrible stories. Right, right. Whenever I hear about any of those things, I just feel so bad for everybody involved. Yeah, well, not everybody. Hmm? I mean, usually there's an asshole to blame for it all. Yeah, but I mean, it's rarely a good situation for them too. You have to wonder what's fucked them so badly to get to that point in life. Just because they were fucked up in life doesn't mean they aren't a piece of shit for it. I never said that. I was just pointing out that I feel bad for everyone. Okay, but why are you feeling bad for perpetrators? I mean, I'm not feeling bad for them in particular. You don't feel rage at them? Not really. I mean, it's like, it's not like I know them. Rage at what made them the way they are, perhaps. Yeah, see, just if they were made the way they are because of some underlying system doesn't mean they aren't a piece of shit. Again, I know that, I'm just saying that's what really fucks up is what keeps producing the monsters in our society. I mean, if not for those systems, why would they keep showing up? Uh, because evil people will always show up? That's... I think I'm not explaining myself well here. Okay, so when you're writing a hit piece on someone, what's your goal? Do you intend to tear down that one individual person? Or do you use it as an opportunity to shed a light on some larger issue at play? Hmm, I don't know. Well, I absolutely know, and you know as well, but you just don't want to say it. Never really considered that. You haven't? I don't really have time to. It's a pretty fast-paced world. Besides, in the end, it all boils down to the same thing, doesn't it? 
Take down the villain. I guess. A moment of awkward silence passes between us. After a pause, Pig spoke back up, seeming a bit defensive. I mean, I get your perspective, though. After all, you're a defense attorney, right? I plan to be one. Right, right. You know you're usually going to be defending guilty people, right? Tends to be the case. You usually don't take things to court either, just look out for your client. Right, you try to make the prosecutor doubt the case enough to let your client have as light a punishment as possible. That's a way of looking at it. I get viewing it from the criminal's perspective. But what about the victim, or the relatives of the victim? Them getting justice is a huge thing to give them peace. I mean, sometimes. Although actually, studies have shown that justice against the criminal actually ultimately doesn't tend to give those affected by the crime that much peace. Yeah, because most of the time it literally doesn't change anything. Unless that criminal has a particular, uh, particular plan to kill off your whole family. Uh, if it's just something like, I don't know, something bad that was um, unplanned, like a hit and run. Someone drove their car, ran over someone and drove away. Obviously, they deserve to go to jail, or I don't know what the laws are, probably a few years. But the point is, whether that person is in jail or not, ultimately does not matter in the slightest for the relatives of the victim. It doesn't change anything. They probably will never hear from him again. So, what does it matter? Obviously, yes, we want to put him in jail to protect others from him or actually or her but for the victims relatives themselves unless he coincidentally a year later runs over another one of the family maybe bad luck runs in the family then yes but apart from that revenge is not something that really gives you all that much pleasure it might give you pleasure in the short term like, it might feel pleasurable to get revenge on someone you don't like or even hate or despise while you're getting it. But as soon as that's over, as soon as it's done, you'll feel just as empty as before. Anyway. But that's not always the case. I mean, look at the situation we're in. Fair point. We returned to searching in silence. Before long, we had finished our search. All the round almost over. I should probably let Monkey use the tablet now. You go do that, I'll input on my tablet, then give the room here another once over. After you come back. Okay. And like that, Pig once again left the room. Monkey had already been dead for 50 minutes at this point. I pulled out my tablet again and chose to run. Then I looked around, waiting for Pig to return. It didn't take her that long. Yeah, because she didn't actually need to untie and retie Monkey this time. She just had to go somewhere and come back. Where next? Well, actually, why don't we go and check on the classroom I woke up in? I wasn't on the lookout back then, so it's possible I missed some stuff there. All right, lead the way. And just like that, I took her to the classroom I woke up in. So admittedly, I mean, I do think Monkey's already dead. On one hand, but on the other hand, the fact that no one else has come out and maybe screamed or, or said something or went looking for anyone makes me suspect that she isn't because what are the chances of no one else going back to the cafeteria to check on monkey like not even talking about anyone else thinking of the possibility that well monkey has to put in her moves as well and there's a lot of people who would think that or who would realize that snake would realize that dog would realize that bunny would probably realize that um a few others will probably realize that as well. I mean, Monkey herself will realize that. She probably might just not say anything. Um, even thinking that maybe one or two of those will just say, well, she's going to die anyway, might as well die now, and ignore their thought. Still, there would be someone who goes to the cafeteria to check on her, surely. All right. Memories. Ah, good old memories of when we didn't know we were gonna die. It was only hours ago, but it feels like a lifetime. I was so naive back then. Just a child, ignorant of the ways of the world. True, there was some fear in me, but more so I was filled with wonder, would it be? 
back then where oh so you okay you've been staring at nothing for a bit now it is not okay no oh i'm um, sorry let's begin looking around we gave the laboratory a thorough sweep and this must be a pretty good school there are a ton of chemicals here really this stuff is top of the line yeah this place is nice before long, we found a safe hidden in one of the cabinets. Alright, this is something. Yeah, now we just need to find a passcode to it. Well, there's only one place in this room that has a lot of numbers on it. The whiteboard still has a lot of equations on it. Yes, please let me do equations. That probably means something. Maybe. But I always sucked at chemistry, so... Oh no, not chemistry. God. Not those equations. I can't really make heads or tails of it. Leave it to me, then. I actually thought about being a chemist back in high school. I was great at it. Really? Then by all means, go ahead. Like that, Pig got to work, giving the whiteboard a thorough analysis. Meanwhile, my eyes were drawn to some odd graffiti written on one of the desks. C-R-R-E. I'd assume those are elements, but... Ah, uh, I... I don't remember what they are, or even if they even are, I can't say for sure. But the looks of it hadn't been here for long. And the odd capitalized R. Mask, please, you're in a chemistry room. We were in a ke <laughs> There you go. <laughs> we were in a chemistry classroom, it didn't take long for me to connect the dots. I found a periodic table and checked. Then I went over to the safe and input 2475. Yep, okay. As expected, it opened. Do please let Pig actually continue with the equations, though. Oh, God. Hey, you got it open? Yep. I reached in and grabbed the token with the inscription Pig Minor Trinket written on it. Seems like we scored the jackpot. How did you get that open? Uh, I'm awesome. That doesn't answer my question. How does it not? You know, forget it. How many trinkets do we have in total right now? Let's pile them together. I did as she asked and put all the trinkets I had on the table. There were a total of two. Not great. Alright, alright. Good to know. I'll hold on to these for now. Keep them in one place. Ha! Ah, wait a moment, Pig. Wait a moment, Pig. Why would you be the one to hold on to them? Generally. <laughs> I like the full process there. If she's not a traitor, she's just really dumb, but... Why would you want to keep the trinkets in one place? Because then, if the, if you get killed, they're both gone. You want to split the trinkets up as much as possible. Because if out of all 11 people left that aren't monkey, if out of all of them, everyone has one trinket, then, well, to be fair, if the killer kills one, then he takes that, and we're left with nine trinkets. And that's not enough. Okay, it's not a flawless strategy, but it still makes more sense than keeping it all on one person. Like that, Pig put the trinkets in her pocket. Ron's getting close to ending, right? You're right. Let's input our actions. <sighs> then go back down to the cafeteria to meet back up with everyone. Will Pig suggest not going back to the cafeteria? I thought things were settled, but just then Pig spoke up. Uh, hey, Moss. Yes? Your action should move you the same number of spaces if you just chose to run normally, right? Uh, presumably, if I hitch a ride on someone who just moves one space, yeah. Is that really true? Huh? Don't you want to test it out just to make sure? I mean, it'd be nice to. This round, why don't you try hitching a ride to me? That way we'll get to see for sure if it works that way or not. Pig, why? Explain yourself. Give me one good reason. And no, trying to see if the ability works or not is not a good reason. That is meaningless. The ability works that way because otherwise it wouldn't make sense. The only thing that confirms actually or not. Oh, I see. I see. I see what her plan is. Mm -hmm. I, c I can't remember fully how Pig's ability is defined. I know she takes... I know she takes... Oh, I remember. She takes everyone who's in front of her. Yeah. She takes everyone who's in front of her and moves forward to uh, 
the amount of people that are ahead of her. So basically, she moves. If actually, that's interesting then, because Pig is last in the pecking order. If Mouse, who's first, copies Pig's move, does she copy the move from last turn or from this turn? That's interesting. I'm not sure. Because Mouse moves first. And we did say that Pig, if she activated her ability, she will be behind the other 11 people. So they don't activate simultaneously. They activate in order. So you'd have to... You, uh, you'd have to use Pig's ability from last turn. What if she had used her ability from last turn? What if... And now I don't know how she would have done that. Or did we find that trinket early enough? We're really getting theoretical here. If Pig had a way... Now, hear me out here. If Pig had a way... To get one spot ahead. Oh, this is real. Uh, honestly, if this is what happened, then I haven't given Pig enough credit for now. I mean, she's obviously the traitor here, so she's being a bit less, <laughs> a bit less. Um, well, she's being a bit too obvious for me to not notice that. But the plan she devised is actually not bad. If she, well, at least what I think her plan is. If she had a way to move one spot ahead of everyone else so move two spots in one round and not one oh hmm okay assumption two assumptions at this point a monkey is dead b pig has monkey's tablet we have those assumptions next assumption I don't know this one. I don't remember quite how the minor trinkets work. I don't remember how many you need to activate to let you move. Um, but just imagine Pig being able to move one spot further than everyone else. And the way I imagine this working is if Pig has enough trinkets to activate her and Monkey's minor trinket and then both moving two spots forward. In a sense, would that work? Monkey needs to be alive for that. Because I know the prayers work on the dead person's tablets. But does moving work? It shouldn't really, should it? So I... Ah, but does activating trinkets work? That might do. Anyway, if Pig moved two spaces, she's ahead of everyone. So if everyone else is running, then at the point Pig puts in her ability, a special ability, she doesn't move because there's no one ahead of her. So she moves zero, and that means everyone else moves one again and everyone else catches up with her, meaning she's in line again as if she had always moved one. But because she used her ability, no, that's, that doesn't work. That doesn't work because it relies on there actually being one or being people that are ahead, but it doesn't make sense for. Actually, no, no, it, do it doesn't make sense for anyone to be ahead of Mouse. That's the issue. There wouldn't be. So you can't. I'm not quite sure what her plan is anymore. I have some ideas, but putting them together just doesn't, doesn't bring a, a good plan together. So I'll just look and see what her plan is. I think what she wants to do is throw me under the bus and paint me as the traitor. That's the idea I think she has. How exactly she wants to make that work, I can't quite figure out. So, um, her to write to me. That's my advice. Yeah. Without saying another word, Pig exited the room, presumably to find another room to input her action in. It was certainly an odd exchange. Pig was acting a little weird. <laughs> a little? Really, Mouse? Really? So should I take her up on her offer? What, on her offer to put in a safe state? Absolutely. Um, the idea of testing out my ability was a bit tempting. 